Good evening. This is Juliana Sproles checking in, and today is the 13th of January, 2019. It is Sunday, and this is a week in review using the Rainbow Warrior Activation Deck and the seven sessions we held this week. There will be 22 cards presented, and so here we go with a note to begin from the creators of this deck. You have all the answers you need. Let the one love be the mirror you need to see them. We are all rainbow warriors incarnate in this, at this time on the planet to dissolve the illusions we hold about ourselves and others, to release our misconceptions of powerlessness and to embrace all that great spirit has created us to be. Learning the art of innovation, changing your thoughts and feelings at will, and understanding their connection to manifesting your desires and creating miracles. It's what you were put here to do. It is the collective purpose of the current and coming generations to heal our planet and the eternal heart that beats throughout. You've been given a special endowment to contribute your unique vibration of love, and we thank you. 10,000 blessings to you from Justine Cerebrin and Tracy Dunblazer. They referred to the Rainbow Warrior Activation Deck as the spiritual tool for the 21st century. All right, so... There are 52 cards in the deck, and in the seven session I've held seven sessions I've held this week, I've been guided very poignantly from day to day as we set our intentions for the year of 2019, respecting respecting and honoring what has come before. All right, so I'll simply place the card up for meditation and a bit of contemplation. I'll state the name of the card, and then at the end I may make comments or I may put the notes in the description box down below. We started off the week with the intention of practicing and honing and developing our innate God-given talents and abilities, especially in the areas of clairvoyance clairaudience, claircognizance, and clairsentience. This, card number 46, is the third eye. Synergy is very much about relationships and harmony and particularly at this time group dynamics. Card number 47 Throat Chakra What we say, how we say it and how we communicate affects the environment around us, each and every one of us. Grounding and centering at this time is key to our own internal well-being. Drawing down energy from above and anchoring it through to the core of the earth. Very expansive card, centering Nurturing, grounding. And we finished the first session this week with fire. Fire is very transformative. It is a remover of obstacles and it is also a bringer of light. Very important in this time of transition from one year to the next. The second session of the week, the card of union came up. Relationship. Unification at this time. is very important. 
as we look into the darkness, the teacher of the darkness, a time for pause and reflection and seeking deeper understanding for what drives us and keeps us feeling separate or united with others. And in that vein, speaking of balance and questioning, we have ancestors. Our ancestors are always with us. It's a lot about honoring the wisdom and the teachings of what has come before, what traditions to keep, to keep practicing, what to let go of, and ultimately honoring the wisdom. The ancestors are here. They're definitely here. They have messages for us. They have energies for us. They have protections and guidance. They have repeated lessons to learn and experience and purge and grow through. After a creek clearing day, I took a walk out into nature and became very energized as evidence in this card of activation. We had two trees growing out of a fallen one. And in the center of this card, there is a very much an example of a green sprite shooting up to the sky. Activation is very much about movement in the body and that can be an individual body or it can be movement within our collective body again remembering and honoring the fact that we are all united and connected whether we remember that from time to time or not a very beautiful very energetic very powerful card as we're activating ourselves moving into this period of rest of winter here in the northern hemisphere but also extremely relevant as we activate ourselves in our higher ideas ideals and visions next comes air in honoring air we break our situations down to the most basic properties, remembering that air is our presence with us at all times and it is essential for life. Sometimes I feel like air. I come and I go, I'm here and I'm there. Honoring air. So the next day, after our sacred Winter Creek walk, the Healing Field card came up. And the Healing Field reminds us that we have the ability to heal ourselves. We can adapt, we can change. And depending on our level of health, our electronic sig signature and the energies we emit and transmit definitely are strengthened. A very important aspect of the healing field and its ability to transmit strongly and powerfully is the ability to relax. And to help us with this, we have a guardian. Guardians, spirit guides, angels, 
God, self, others, beings in this dimension and dimensions beyond the one we know. Our guides are always with us. And they remind us of that as they remind us that they are here through the fire, the firestorms, and the transitions. Fire came back again. And the next time we pull the card, it was guardian. Ever present, ever powerful. Leading us to visionary. A quick moment to review the visionary card. Visionary is very much about awareness, perspective, vantage, synergy, oneness, future, history, and grief. The visionary card represents the opportunity to transform and expand how you see the world. And it has a lot to do with us getting so locked into a vision of success or what we see has to happen, needs to happen, must happen in order for us, for us to feel on track, connected with it, successful all of the things that go along with productivity and sense of fulfillment. But as we relax and look deeper into our dreams and step away from the perceptions in other, of others and the conditionings from others that have been put upon us since our birth, step back, we become a little quieter, delve a little bit of deeper. It's amazing how we have these subtle and sometimes not so subtle reminders to trust our own vision and to let it come into form and into shape and into being and to allow that knowing to help us as we step into the next place and take the next step toward what we're creating, how we're connecting, and what we're becoming. The visionary card is so very powerful. Now at that point, the video failed and that whole session was not uploaded. So we then saw the animal spirits card. Interesting about animal spirits because earlier in the week there was a card about coming out of hibernation and using our synergy and connecting with and working with others in groups. Well coming out of hibernation the question in my mind was do the bears in our area hibernate? Are they hibernating right now? Is it cold enough? Is it warm enough? How is our environment affecting what is happening in the ecosystem? Well, later that day, a mama bear and her baby bear ran across the road directly in front of my path. Fortunately, I heard very much the guidance to go slowly, and I try to do that on the mountain roads. But this particular day, I was ultra aware and ultra conscious of this slow going up the mountain, even though there was someone very much in a hurry behind me. Mama bear, baby bear, slid down the embankment, bounced a couple times a little bit, and then scurried across the, he just scooted across the road. And uh, maybe an adolescent bear. So amazing, the power of bear, the, the strength, the power, the leadership, the wisdom, the healing ability, the protector. Bears are just amazing, but they also know when to rest, when to hibernate, and when to become more active, which is very much what we're practicing right now in this time of winter. Rest, 
preparation, transition, action, activation, healing. It all fits. Also, the day that this card was pulled, I was walking with my walking and running the trails and visiting one of my campsites out in the woods. And um, Rocky the Labrador was with me. Such a big, powerful Labrador black and just so aware and so in tune and just a powerful, powerful animal spirit guide along with the other dogs we have in our family. So the animal spirits in the animal kingdom is ever present, ever powerful, and ever willing to serve. So that brings us to card number one, the card that starts it all. And this is action. So with action, we're reminded to celebrate transition. Action is the transition from one experience to another. The state of motion requires immense presence and awareness, which is what we're practicing all of this this week so powerful and to support that awareness again we were presented with ancestors i clean the creek we clean the creek we walk the creek we we're out there where our ancestors have been walking on this earth through so many phases of time past present and future converging all in the here and the now the ancestors do want us to heal. They want us to grow. They want us connect, to connect and not forget. They want us to remember. It's so important right now because we're expanding our awareness and our knowings beyond our little world right in front of us to the bigger globe and even beyond into our galactic society. Societies. It's coming. It is truly, truly coming. And the ancestors are here to help us. All right, so I shut off the camera and the next card that came up that was begging to be paid attention to was the shaman card. Now, the shaman card applies to everyone. I think we used to think of shamans as mystical, magical creatures and beings with these special powers. But here, I'm here to tell you today that the shaman's journey is one of courage and faith on all levels. Reading from the Rainbow Warrior activation deck, this card, the shaman card is evidence that you possess this skill set, you're working to cultivate it, or, or are in need of it. It talks a lot about being of service as traveling on behalf of another to the root of an experience that is revealing its discordant presence in the subject's mind. Being of service in this way is a powerful testament to the shaman's endurance through long suffering. They are able to bear witness to another's pain without judgment and with compassion. And so right now we're all being asked to have compassion for another's view and what they may be going through and where it might have come from and getting down to the core of it. Everyone has this ability. We can choose to cultivate it. And to support us with that, we are also given crystal spirits. All right, crystal spirits have been sent to us to help humanity heal. Each of them communicates their specific messages telepathically to whoever is available to receive it. Every crystal and mineral aligns with the vibrational, the vibration of specific mental, emotional, or spiritual dynamics that have been sent here to help humanity heal. Receiving this card is an indication that the energy of the crystal spirits is calling you to heal as well or to develop a deeper understanding of your experience right now. Working with crystal energy is like defragmenting your computer, organizing, reorganizing all the files so you're better able to fully function, focus, function, heal, and live more fully. And, you know, it's about access to other realms healing, transmitter, vibrational wisdom, allowing, alignment. 
It's getting more intense and more powerful as we go along. And so we're asked to look and observe the sacred geometry, the dynamic, well, I should say dynamism in these cards, the colors, the shapes, the symbols, and see how they're affecting you and speaking to you deep, deep, deep into your spirit and into your soul. So then we came to Sunday this morning. This card started off with number 28, which we're setting the stage for today's reading. We're speaking about setting intentions for 2019, and lo and behold, the intention card came up. And intention is about foundation. So we can just simply say here and remember that intention is the foundation of an idea being called into manifestation. So we're laying our foundation. We can have all the intentions in the world, but if we don't have a strong foundation and we don't really believe that we can set about bringing those intentions to life, what's the point? Dreaming, dreaming is a, is a wonderful point, but I think we have more power in our dreams and our intentions. We have the power to activate them and to see them come to fruition for our own good and for the greater good. Which brings us to the final card in our week in review, number 40 is sacral chakra. It's all about pleasure. What pleases us? What intense creativity is burning to be let out? What is it that you really want to do? Dance, sing, draw, play, travel, sleep, be, dream, connect, love, scream, swim, fly. Really, the possibilities are endless. And with that, I conclude our week in review, beginning our 2019 series of adventures. Juliana Sproles, signing out.